Strong national defense uh, is a hallmark of this great country and uh, the number one priority of the Congress. Our number one duty, in fact, I think, under the Constitution. Uh, continued threats to our sovereignty, our way of life, uh, the sustained costs of war, the impact our conflicts have on our military and the families, constant reminders that uh, freedom isn't free. We have to maintain our military preparedness, be ready to face whatever comes our way, and support those who lay their lives on the line for their country. This bill, uh, I think, shores up our critical national security needs while finding efficiencies and trimming unnecessary spending wherever we can. In total, the bill provides uh, $519.2 billion in non-war funding. That's an increase of $1.1 billion over current levels and more than $3 billion above <laughs> what the President requested. It includes funding for uh, critical national security needs, provides, I think, the necessary resources to continue the uh, military efforts abroad, and in addition, the bill provides essential funding for health and quality of life programs for our men and women and their families. Also contains $88.5 billion for uh, overseas contingency operations, the war fighting, to continue the global war on terror. Wherever possible and where the safety or success of our troops and missions is not at risk, we've made spending reductions. Some of these cuts include uh, DOD requested adjustments such as decreases in force levels, the termination of the medium extended air defense system, and rescissions from unnecessary and unused prior year funding. No program or agency should be given carte blanche. So we've included strong oversight measures that help ensure investments in our defense will have the best returns on our safety, security, and success overseas. It's a great achievement that uh, we've been able to find savings without causing undue setbacks to our military readiness or increasing the risks incurred by our war fighters. I think we've got a successful bipartisan bill before us today one that deserves all of our support. Our troops should never have to worry about being adequately cared for, both in battle and when they return home, uh, nor should the American people have to worry about the strength of their national defense. So I urge and I vote on the bill.